again, the rebuttal portion of the debate by stating three major points. Uh, the death penalty does not give closure to victims' families who have suffered. The cost of death penalty is much more than the cost of keeping a prisoner to life. And that just because other countries abolish, um, saw, I mean, saw an increase in murder rates after abolishing the death penalty, does not mean the U.S. won't have the same effect. The death penalty is not an instantaneous process. In fact, it is a slow, complex, and financial, a financially demanding one. In a Fox News article, they say that an execution does not take place right away, but it takes many trials and a ton of funding to follow through with the death penalty. Um, this means that even after all the administrative work has been taken care of, there's still no guarantee that the criminal will be executed. Uh, this just proves that the death penalty does not provide closure to a victim's family, but only prolongs anticipation that may or may not occur. Um, second, the cost of the death penalty is much more than the cost of keeping a prisoner for life for a life sentence. In an MSNBC article, Governor of New York, New Jersey, Governor of New Jersey John Corzine says that the legal costs were too great and produced no results. And even after spending about $4.2 million for each death sentence, the state still had executed no one since 1963, which means that they just spent $4.2 million on everybody they wanted to kill and didn't kill anyone. Um, so the death penalty, as you can see, is obviously a huge money sink that shows no positive outcome for the state that still has the death penalty as a punishment. And uh, for a third claim, just because South Africa abolished the death penalty and saw an increase in murder rate does not mean that the U.S. once the death penalty is abolished, we will see an increase. Um, South, America, South Africa has completely different um, different law enforcement methods, different people, different cultures, different ideas, and that, and all the, and so many other factors that you cannot compare those two countries together. And as a final point, with a negative, um, we've not argued to abolish death penalty, but just to prevent the death penalty to be extensively implemented throughout the U.S.